we move on to manufacturing side of uh, merchandising companies. So what merchandising companies means, refreshing our memory in financial accounting, chapter five and six. Merchandising companies, they purchase products, it's already completed products, ready for sale from the wholesaler, from their vendor, and then they mark up the price, sell it to customers. Okay, so merchandising companies is purchasing material, purchasing products that are readily completed, that are ready for sale. Purchase from wholesaler, and then they sell it to their customers. So an example would be grocery store, an example would be malls, places you go to that they don't actually manufacture those goods, they purchase it from other companies. This is manufacturing, t um, merchandising types of company. So for merchandising companies, cost of goods sold is a major expense because that's how they earn profit. It's how they earn gross profit, how they earn operating income from. So what cost of goods sold, how we capture this, just to refresh our memory, if you have the beginning inventory level from last year, plus all the new purchases inventory that you made in this period, and of course new purchases comes with freight charges, that together is also part of inventory cost. Minus ending inventory will give you this period's cost of goods sold. Okay, so this is not this is not something new. This is actually refreshing your memory from financial accounting. An example for this: assuming last period, last year December 31st, we have, let's say, just $100 worth of inventory, beginning inventory. Then you make new purchases. You purchase orders from wholesalers, from vendors, $1,000 more. And these $1,000 worth of inventory comes with, let's say, $10 freight charges. Okay, so up to now, up to now, all together in this period, the total inventory value available for sale to customer would be $1,110. With $100 beginning inventory carried on from last year, new purchases $1,000 that happened this season comes with freight charges. All together, total available cost of goods for sale to customer is $1,110. So how do we get to the end? What are the actual items sold out to customer? We have to compare this available for sale against what's actually left at the end when it comes to December 31st. Right? That will determine what's the actual cost of goods actually sold out to customer in this season, in this time frame. So let's say the ending inventory, we only have $50 worth of inventory left. That means we made a lot of sales to customer because based on this, the differences will get to the total cost of goods sold. $10,060. Okay, so what I want to get to here is you have to know how to get cost of goods sold, how to determine this number. If a problem gives you information on beginning inventory, new purchases, freight charges, ending inventory, you should be able to calculate this $10,060 cost of goods sold. And these costs, you compare it against retail price to determine the profit for this season. Okay, so this is introduced in financial accounting. If you forgot about this, that's okay. You have time to review it and this week when you go back home. So just kind of read through chapter 16, what we covered so far, about half of the chapter. And um, I'll see you Friday, All right? Any questions? Uh, your book is only financial, right? It's not the comprehensive one that has...